So some other options that are here on the trees is the brush size, so how many trees you're doing, tree density, color variation, those are all pretty much self-explanatory. Tree height, same, tree width, and any variation in that, whether they have colliders or not. And if we go to edit trees, you can edit them by changing their bend factor or just changing what tree is in there. Next we can look at the paint details. We've already seen all these, but you can actually add a grass texture or a detail mesh. Now grass texture obviously is for grass. A detail mesh though is if you want rocks or something to sporadically be spread out through your environment or something else as part of the terrain, then you can do that through a detail mesh. So we can look at the grass texture here. We're looking at something like this or this. I'm gonna go with this one. What these do is change the height and width of the different clumps of grass that you're placing onto the ground. Noise spread determines how dense the grass is. Healthy color, dry color is pretty much self-explanatory. Billboard is really cool. What it does is it actually uses 2D versions, images, of the grass. And what it does is when your player walks by it, the image turns towards the player. So the player is always looking at that one face of the grass. It looks like the image is a 3D object, but it's not really. It's just a 2D image. This saves on space and performance. So we've got our grass and we can pretty much just do the whole thing. Now, I just clicked it, but you can't see it, and this is something that people will get wrong. They'll be like, oh, my grass isn't going on there, but if you get really close, you can see that there is lots of grass. So now when I press play, not bad for a glass, grassy little jungle area, and our player's just kind of roaming around, jumping in the grass. It's starting to look a little bit cooler, you know, and you could see how you'd put all these together and make it unique in your own way. Next are the terrain settings. Now there's a lot of settings here. So at the top here we have pixel error which is the accuracy of the mapping between the terrain maps so height maps, textures, and the generated terrain. Higher values indicate lower accuracy but lower rendering overhead. So this is where you can change your performance settings kind of with the terrain. The base map distance is the maximum distance where terrain textures will be displayed at full resolutions. So if your player is looking at a wide terrain, maybe farther off, it's a little bit blurrier or it doesn't need to be high def. Cast shadows is just whether the terrain casts shadows. If you wanted a specific material for your terrain, you could put it there uh, for a s suitable shader. Something like nature, terrain, or diffuse shader would be normal. The physics material, you can actually create one, and this changes the friction or the bounciness of the surface. Draw is whether the trees, grass, and details should be drawn. Detail distance has to do with how far the player can see, and the detail density has to do with the number of detail objects within a given unit of area, so like how much grass is in a certain area. Setting it to a lower number will reduce the rendering overhead. Distance, tree distance is the same thing, it's at what point will the trees not appear to the player. Billboard start is where these objects will be turned into 2D images and start billboarding instead of actually being 3D objects. Fade length has to do with billboarding as well, over what distance will it fade to a billboard. Max mesh trees, maximum number of visible trees that will be represented as 3D meshes. Beyond that, they'll be replaced with billboards. Wind settings has to do with the wind and you can actually turn up the wind or the size and make the trees blow with the wind so if you wanted to create some kind of like explosion and create a gust of wind from that explosion or uh, just a general windsy type feel then you could use the wind settings to get that. Resolution just has to do with the size of the terrain, the resolution of the height map if you're using a height map along with details and textures. So I think that's about it for our terrain editor and you can mess around with this and really like stretch the performance levels. If you go way too crazy with this, then you might find yourself slowing down your game or making it really choppy and you don't want that. So you gotta find a good medium with all of the settings. Now our player's got a little field to play in with a bunch of trees in the background. Grass is definitely something, grass and trees are the biggest things with performance that I've found. If you have any questions, then leave them down below. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.